Today we welcome to the program Anshul Jain to chat a little bit about a tech startup that's uh, based right here in the city of Quincy that could help you clear snow off your car during those cold winter mornings. Ansh, it's very nice to, uh, to meet you. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for having me over. Oh, it's our pleasure. I want to thank uh, Quincy Award Three Counselor Ian Kane for uh, connecting us through his uh, tech startup, uh, Cubic Labs, here in Quincy, um, as well, to learn a little bit about uh, how they are fostering and nurturing new businesses, such as Snow Champ, right? Right. Tell me a little yeah. bit about yourself first, if you could. So, my name is Anshul Jain, and I'm the founder of Snow Champ. Uh, I live in Quincy with my wife. Um, I went to UMass Boston for my MBA. That's, that's where I came into the U.S., but Quincy has been home for the last seven plus years. So that's pretty much it. I mean. Short and sweet, right? Yep. <laughs> where did you grow up, Anj? Uh, I grew up in India and uh, uh, in um, North India and more specifically um, area around Delhi, uh, Gurgaon. So that's where I grew up. Okay. And what was it that uh, brought you to the States? Recession, 2008. I did my engineering in 2008. I graduated. I had two job offers from, uh, from campus placements, something uh, we have in India. But at that time, no company was hiring. I always wanted to do my MBA. But at that time, I had no excuse. And so I had, I, I had plans to do my engineering, do a couple, uh, couple jobs, work for a few years, and then go do MBA from a U.S. business school. But because of recession, I thought this is the best time to invest. And that's why I came in early uh, and, and that wasn't the plan. But I took GMAT, came here in 20, uh, spring of 2010 at UMass Boston. And I mean, so did my MBA. So that was, the, that was the whole thing. Okay, what did you study at UMass? So it's mostly strategic, strategic management and accounting. The focus was that other than, uh, so it was a general MBA with a specialization in accounting and strategy. Okay, so where did the tech part of it come in? Were you always, uh, you know, an electronic kid? And the right. So during my graduation, I did engineering. That's where the tech part came in. So it was the best of the both world. Now I have a technology background, plus I have a management background. So I wanted to see how can I apply technology and how can I manage technology to maybe do something bigger, which is essentially serving, uh, serving the community, helping people with their day-to-day -day problems, solving those problems, and maybe some, someday some, something more bigger, which is uh, giving back to the community. Okay. How, how did you land here in Quincy? So, I mean, uh, I had a job um, in uh, Canton area. So that's where I wanted to move closer. But we, had a kind of shuttle, we have a shuttle that runs from Quincy area around Quincy Adams. So that's where, I mean, Quincy was a perfect place for us. And what are your impressions of the city so far in the past seven years? Oh, it's, it's, it has been wonderful. And I, I call it my home now. Quincy is my home after India. And I think I have spent more time in Quincy than in India in the last 10, year, 10 years. And Quincy is just beautiful because Red Line is right there. You can walk to a beach, where, uh, walk to the Wallaceton Beach where I live. And there are, a lot of park, uh, there are a lot of parks, there are trails where we can go biking and on walks. And, and the community has been really supportive. So it has been a great experience. In fact, uh, my wife and I are um, planning to settle down in Quincy. If, if, we, if we, we are house hunting these days, so let's see what we find. And, but our number one choice is to settle down in Quincy. Oh, are you hearing that from uh, your, your peers as well, or uh, folks you went to school with that uh, they're finding Quincy as well? So yeah, Quincy is, Quincy is actually really good because of the red line and people, most of my friends who work in, um, in the city or in Boston downtown, Quincy is a perfect place because you, can, you are not in the city, you are away from the chaos of the city, but you can get to the city in 15 minutes. So that's a, like a perfect combination. Sure. So how did you uh, connect with uh, Cubic Labs with Councillor Kane? So Cubic Labs, uh, I was looking for um, uh, local startups in Quincy that we can partner with and we can understand what are the challenges they go through and what has been their experience. So there was a news in Patriot Ledger about uh, this incubator, which is Cubic Labs. And their aim is to help businesses grow and help, help them get their idea off the ground. So that, that is exactly what we needed. We needed a strategic alliance to get our idea off the ground and expand into markets, first in Quincy and then into other markets. They also have an aim and objective uh, specifically to create jobs in Quincy community. And that is also one of our objective as well. So that perfectly aligns with us. And then, I mean, the, the, 
and that's perfectly aligns with us and that's where that's how i reached out to ian and john and we just connected right away so yeah I mean, it has been really helpful i've been working with them for the last four weeks so or i would say more than four weeks but yep it has been a great experience so when you say our um on who, who is our so our is snow champ our team and uh, essentially snow champ Okay. And is it just, this is you right now? This is your initiative on your own? So this is, this was my own initiative, but I had three other people helping me. And one is my mentor and the, I have friends in India, two of them. So that's four of us. I called we. So th- those are the we. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was curious to, to see the, the names behind the faces. Um, right. Right. Uh, you know, we, we often uh, have a spokesperson uh, such as yourself as the, right. as the company, but I know there's, right. uh, there's a lot of going on in the background. Right, right. So how has uh, Cubic uh, helped you get this off the ground? So Cubic has been helping us with partner, partnering with uh, other, other strategy, ha- helping us with other strategic alliances, helping us with other partnerships. They're also helping us with how to make, make it a real business, make, make it a real business opportunity, and how can we reach out to folks in the community. So their connections and their guidance has been really helpful for us. So, yeah. Did you ever envision yourself being a business owner? Yep, exactly. That's, that's where we are headed. And uh, right now we are in early phase right now. We, and, and I'm sure we'll talk more about it. But right now we are trying to prove a concept and make sure and understand what, it, what, ha- what, what is the response and then eventually get into other markets, go bigger and become and do this uh, as a business owner. Yeah. So is this, I mean, is it fair to say it's kind of a, like a gig economy type based service, if you will? Exactly. This is exactly gig economy and um, gig economy um, traditionally has been something where people between the jobs or people who are trying to go back to the work, pick up a gig job to get a new side of income. But recently it has become a critical part of U.S. economy and people look for gig jobs and the technology advancements and the way, uh, 2020 has been for all of us. There are a lot of people who are out of work. There are people who are looking for more jobs. So I think gig economy uh, gonna help a lot of people to put this, uh, uh, to earn more more money and uh, have this as a side income. So yes, this is exactly what gig economy is. Yeah, true. I mean, just as examples for, you know, there's Uber and Lyft and uh, you know, some of the bigger ones. So is it based on that kind of model? It is exactly based on that kind of model. It's, it's essentially a marketplace. It's essentially a marketplace uh, similar to Uber or Lyft, w- where we are trying to match people who are looking for snow cleaning services to people, to, to snow cleaners, essentially. So th- that's, that's the ecosystem where they both come in together. And one, one, one side is looking for snow cleaning services. The other side is looking for more work. And we are trying to create this ecosystem where both the parties can come together. And if it's a win-win situation for both of them, we would consider our, our, our job done there. Okay, so Snow Champ, uh, how did this get its idea? Uh, where did this come from? So it all started when I moved to this apartment in Quincy. In, 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 from this very apartment, I could see the parking of the building. One, uh, one morning, I saw this couple with a baby trying to get into their car after a snowfall. The guy was trying, the guy was, uh, trying to clean the car as fast as he can while the wife was trying to protect baby from the cold. He cleaned one side of the car and so that a family can get into the car and stay warm. But he continued to stay. He continued to clean the car because you have to clean the car before you can go anywhere. And that was the first thought. That was the first time I thought about it. Wow. Wish they had someone who can come and clean their car before they come to the parking area. That was first thing. And during the same winter, I ran into a friend of mine. Um, he's, a, he's an old man, a disabled man. And in our conversation, it came up that uh, he, he wasn't able to go out anywhere because his, car, because his car was covered in snow. And he would pay, and he also mentioned that he would pay someone to clean his car. At that very point, it was very clear to me that there are people, including myself and my wife, who share this similar pain of cleaning their cars after every snowfall. What I did right away is I sent out a quick survey to all my friends who live in Quincy area to see what they think about it. And the response was, oh, we would love to have this service who can clean our cars and we would pay for it because the other options 
are expensive, which is a covered parking. And a covered parking in Boston area can get really, really expensive. So there was the genesis of the idea. But as we started exploring more and more, it's much bigger than just uh, just cleaning the, just having a service for the cars. And I, I can talk more about it. Okay. So, I mean, you did mention earlier that uh, one of your goals, if you will, in life is problem solving. So, I mean, here's a problem that needed solving, right? Right. Exactly. So, th- 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 because there is no solution out there to, uh, that is dedicated to come clean your cars. The solution that we have for driveways are time consuming and cumbersome. Even even if I'm a home, 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 home owner and I, I have a driveway I need to get it clean I would go through multiple platforms multiple online platforms social media or through my personal connections to find a person who can come clean my car then I would share the information I would make a payment arrangement with him this gets really really tiring the other side who are people who are looking for jobs and who are ready to go out and help their neighbors uh, clean their driveways would also go through those similar platforms looking for jobs Sometimes these people themselves post uh, like, hey, I'm available. I would come help you. I'm looking for, an, for a job. And sometimes these postings are actually paid postings. So now think about this for a second. I'm looking for a job. I'm posting myself and I'm paying for this posting to find a job. The first thing is I, I the last thing is that I, want, I don't want to spend money. That's the last thing I want to do. So being a technology enthusiast, uh, I thought there should be a simple solution to this. They're ordering, uh, requesting a snow cleaner or finding a snow cleaning job should, shouldn't take that much time. It should, be, it should take time lesser than it takes to send a quick text or grab a cup of coffee. So that's, that's where our aim is. We want to make Snow Champ a one-stop for people who are looking for snow cleaning services and for people who are looking for snow cleaning jobs. So there should be one-stop, a centralized location. You go in. You find there and there is no and the payments are being handled by a reliable payment processors. So it's a so I think that's where that's where we are headed. That's what our aim is. Okay, again, it's uh, it's conceptual right now, right? But uh, it does have a name. It does have a logo. We're going to show folks here. Where where did the name and the uh, and the logo come from, Anch? So I, as a so, okay. So the name came because I started with I started playing with couple names like Snowman, Snow That, Snow That. I said, no, you know what? These guys are heroes. These guys are actually champions who go out in this extreme weather and help their neighbors. So they should have some kind of champ next to them. So that's where the name is. The logo is I wanted to have something um, something simple and something that tells us what the story behind it. The story is. Hey, I'm your snow champ. I have this snow shovel in my hand and I'm cool. I have uh, sunglasses on. I have a hat on. So don't worry about it. Uh, you go enjoy what do what's more important for you. Maybe it's spending time with your family or baking those cookies in the winter time. But let us go clean the let us go clean your cars and driveways. Who, and who designed yeah. this? So it's I drew it on a piece of paper, but uh, I have a friend. His name is Ankit. He's the one who actually took it to a digital world, a digital world. Okay, very good. And, and again, it's, it's not active right now, right? It's just conceptual at the moment? No, it is active. We are oh. asking. Oh, it is, it is, it is. We have the website up and running. It's snowchamp.app. So we are asking people to pre-register. We are asking car owners to pre-register, meaning saying like, hey, I would like to try this service. These are more uh, on the people who are looking for uh, snow cleaning services. The other side is snow cleaners and we call our snow cleaners, snow champs. And we are asking them to pre-register saying like, Hey, when the app is out, let us know. So the idea is we are getting an, uh, getting a real good re- initial response and our marketing has been focused. Our promotions has been focused on mostly on the snow champs at this time, because it's like a, it's like a chicken and egg problem. But I, we just want to make sure that we have enough people on our platform before we can ask people to request it because that would not be a good customer experience and that's the last thing you want to do. So we, have, we are asking uh, Snow Champs to pre-register, which is basically your name, your zip code, and your email address. And the response has been really positive. We get job applications almost every day. And I think that's what, that's what inspires us to uh, work harder and harder towards Snow Champ because one and we also get messages from these people and there is one message that 
particularly stood out for us and i want to share it with our uh, fancy community this guy wrote to me saying when can i start i really need this job and that was really emotional for us and that told us this is way bigger than what we started with there are, there is this whole side of community there is this workforce who are ready to go out and help and they are, and 2020 has been tough for all of us and more and more people are out of work so there are people who are looking for job and they want to start as soon as possible so so that that has been um, the response and i think we have uh, we have got a good number of snow champs pre registered on our platform and the idea around pre registration is once you pre register you would be the first to know that app is out because we have your email address we would share qr codes or a link to the uh, mobile app so yeah who how have you been marketing uh, this so far you know who have you been reaching out to so it's mostly word of mouth and social media and we are promoting saying hey we are looking for snow champs we are looking for snow cleaners the hours are flexible and um, you get to choose your preferred location where you want to work and um, so yeah, I mean, it's mostly word of mouth and social media okay and for folks who would like to have the service you know provided for them um, right. where are they coming from and how are you reaching them so they they are also coming from word of mouth and we are having we are trying we are we going to run those promotions really soon once we make this base of this base of users who are snow cleaners and we would be uh, doing the similar kind of promotions and uh, on social media letting people know like hey we are up and running we are live you can download our app and you can request your snow champ at a time convenient for you okay obviously this is only uh, for the winter months and only when it snows right so it's a temporary right. temporary thing right so that's 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 where we started with and i said as we explored more about this gig economy and people looking for jobs as i talk to more and more people the response that i'm getting is hey you should also do something for cleaning houses something for moving someone so far cleaning for leaves so i think that's that's a possibility so if we could create that uh, platform where we are basically having these people who don't need any fancy tools to do those things because i don't want i don't want to put a lot of pressure on the workforce to go invest in a car or go invest in a heavy machinery before you can start working so we would have to explore the areas where the tools and trainings are minimum like for example for the car cleaning all you need is a snow brush with a scraper so maybe just for a fall clean uh, for a cleaning fall leaves maybe you just need a broom so that's where we want would we would want to focus on but yep uh, great good thing that you brought up so we starting with snow we getting responses to do other jobs which uh, can be helpful for people and can be helpful for both side of the communities so we'll see where we go there but that, that's definitely there in on our roadmap okay all right so uh, you know it's it starts small and see where it goes it sounds like how exactly. is uh, we can't talk about prices but how is payment handled on both for the employer and the customer right so payment hand, hand, are handled by a payment processor we we don't store any information any credit card information or routing uh, routing bank routing numbers and all kind of, any kind of financial information is not stored in our uh, uh, databases the payment processors are similar to what lyft or uber uses for their their businesses for for a customer we would we would show their estimated charges once they request but we would only deduct any uh, we would deduct any charges after the request gets completed similarly for uh, a snow champ he would link his bank account to our application the moment he uh, the moment he uh, uh, completes a request he would get his money directly in his bank deposit and it's totally secure it's pci compliant and that's the i think that's the that's the number one thing i wanted to invest the most because like i said in the starting arranging a payment thing can get awkward like hey how do i how would i pay you would i pay you a check would i pay you in cash and all that so that's why we want to do that a transparent press, uh, pr- pricing and it should be ease of use and it should be secure yeah it's all done through the app right like other gig services exactly like uh, like how you would pay for uber or lyft so and and in fact we are using similar payment processors processors that they are using okay is there a um you know a verification system or a, a complaint uh, system if folks aren't satisfied with the service or if a worker's yes. not satisfied with with snowchamp absolutely so what what we're trying to do is we're trying to do uh, a ratings concept 
So, uh, but that that could be in our second launch, meaning it might not be on the first first launch. But we are adding. We are trying to do it iteratively. So we are trying to get the first thing out there. But we are also encouraging people to write us uh, on our team at Snowchamp app. Any experience, anything that they have. But we are also uh, planning to do a rating system for both the parties. You can always rate uh, your snow cleaner. How was your experience? And also a snow cleaner can request like, hey, how was his experience? Mm-hmm. Was the car parked at the location that we gave him the address of? Was the car size correct? Like, hey, uh, you're paying me a, paying for a hatchback, but it's actually a big truck that I just cleaned. So all those kind of things. But yeah, the rating systems would be in place and uh, it would be transparent and because it's small. So I, we, our team would personally uh, look into each and every feedback. Okay, so this, I mean, this really is a, a labor of love for you, right? This is, this is kind of your, your baby that you're hatching. Exactly, exactly. That's, and and we, wa- we wanted to start with the Quincy community because Quincy has been home for us. And so we wanted to see the response in Quincy first and then uh, eventually move on to other markets. Yeah, I know you're interested in, uh, in giving back to the community um, as well as, as eventually, hopefully, a small business owner, right? Right, right. So giving back to the community, we, we have been talking to local charitable organizations in Quincy. Although we aren't that big yet, but we still want to share. We still want to share, uh, share our profit with the community. And whatever we could do to help the community in these tough times, we are willing to do so. So once we form those partnerships with the local charitable organizations, we, we would share whatever we make at the end of the year, we would share with these organizations. So that's the aim and we want to help those who need help. Okay. So would a, uh, a snow champ, you know, an employee be an employee of your company, if you will? So n- not really. They would be independent contractors. Okay. Okay. So they would get a, a 1099 for tax purposes, just like exactly. A- exactly. And that would be, again, very, uh, will be automated and they will get it uh, at the, before their tax year. Okay. So it's, it's very, very new that we're getting in on an interview with you, Ansha, at, at really uh, the, the, the onset of this, this concept. So it's, right. it's pretty exciting, I'm sure. Um, what does your family think about it? My family is excited about it, and they are, they are proud, and they are hoping that um, we get to prove the concept and we get to scale it to other markets. So yeah, they, they are really proud, and, but they just... Um, so what happens is for a small business owner, there are other things that we have to take care of, which, which, is, a, which is sitting in India can be really scary because they, they don't know about, they don't know the systems here. I mean, although my mom is a principal, my dad is a, a retired from a child development officer. So, but here it's a different system and especially uh, understanding the economy, uh, understanding the economy, understanding uh, legal formalities around it, understanding the counting, making sure that every, uh, make, making sure there are no litigation issues and and there are insurances okay. So there are a lot of there are a lot of uh, tough things to start a business, but I think uh, it has been a learning experience for me, and that's what my parents are really proud of and really think. Yep, uh, the learning is always good. So I, I always tell people like. I have read enough uh, about businesses. I've uh, read enough and I have listened to enough podcasts. I have watched a lot of startup movies and a lot of startup books. But when you actually do it, that's when you actually get to know what exactly, what exactly it is like to do it. So I, it has been a learning experience. So my parents are really happy about it. What has been, uh, would you say, the, the most challenging aspect so far? So far, I would say because of COVID, because of pandemic, we weren't, we weren't able to meet anyone. So it's all virtual for us. So we, we, we are trying to partner with uh, local colleges. When I say local, meaning uh, Quincy uh, College in Quincy. So Quincy College, Eastern Nazarene, and Curry College, they have been really responsive, but we haven't been able to actually go in and do a, a sort of a meet and greet kind of thing and actually talk to the students and help uh, and let them know like, hey, this is what we are working on. Can you help us with uh, some things of like branding or some kind of app adoption? Or if you want to be snow champs or if you want to go tell your community. So that I think the not meeting people has been really challenging for us. And because it, it's again, it's, it's, it's a community thing. So we, wa- I, we wanted to reach out to as many people as we can. But uh, whatever, uh, to keep uh, 
in this t- tough times, the, we can only do it virtually. So not meeting people has been the biggest challenge for us. Sure. Um, you know, what if it doesn't snow, Anj? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We have nothing to lose. I mean, okay. we, have, we have the concept out there and I um, mean, if it's, 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 it's actually good for people who like, they don't have to go through this pain. If it doesn't snow, if it snows, we have a solution to them. There you go. Okay. Well, I mean, there's still leaves will fall. So we might leave leave champs in the fall. Who knows? Yep. Yep. Or uh, mo- uh, like uh, uh, mowing the, uh, mowing the lawns or uh, cleaning houses. It's, something is always out there. Yeah. Well, good for you for, uh, you know, taking the initiative and, um, you know, I'm sure the uh, leaders here in the city of Quincy will be happy to hear that there's a young person like yourself that sees the city as a, as a good place to start. Yep, it's definitely it is. And it's very connected. So, I mean, and that's, I mean, and that's where we wanted to start with. And I think uh, looking at the pre-registrations, looking at the initial response, I think we did the right choice. We made the right choice and we're right. really happy and we're really excited. Anything else we'd like to add right now? That will be all. I mean, I would, I would encourage people to go visit our website, snowchamp.app. And if you are a car owner who is looking for a snow cleaning services, uh, go pre-register. We will let you know when the app is uh, out there. And similarly for snow champs who are ready to go help their neighbors, help the community and on um, side income, we, you should also register. It's snowchamp.app. Okay. And I'm assuming um, you have to be at least 18. Is that right? Yes, 18 for a snow cleaner. Yes, exactly. Okay. Great to meet you, Ansh. Uh, hopefully, you, like you said, we can do it in person uh, one, one day um, as well. But I appreciate the opportunity and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for having us, having me over. It, I really appreciate it. And yes, one day we will meet in person. That's our pleasure. All right. Yep. Be well. Thank you, Joe.